multiplication of decimals. Good day, students. Welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you are going to learn how to multiply decimals with or without regrouping. Let us start. Let's have this first example. 32 hundredths times 3 tenths. In multiplying decimals, it is different from adding and subtracting. Here, we don't have to align the decimal places. We are just simply going to multiply decimals like how we multiply whole numbers. At this point, disregard the decimal points. Let's multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 0 is 0. Since the next digit to 3 is 0, we don't have to multiply it. Now, is this our final answer? Not yet. We need to put the decimal point in the right place. The next step that we need to remember is the total number of decimal places in the factors should be the same in the product. Let us count the decimal places in the factors. One, two, and three. Therefore, we need to put the decimal point in the product three decimal places from right. One, two, three. There. Let's put zero. Now, this is our final answer. Let's have another example. What is the product of 352 thousands and 17 hundreds? When we are looking for the product, it means we need to multiply. 7 times 2 is 14. Write 4, carry 1 to the next place value. 7 times 5 is 35. Plus 1 is 36. Write 6, carry 3 to the next place value. 7 times 3 is 21. Plus 3 is 24. Write 4, carry 2 to the next place value. 7 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2. Next one. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 3 is 3. And 1 times 0 is 0. Since the next digit is 0, we don't have to multiply it. Now, let's add the products. 4. Bring down 4. 6 plus 2 is 8. 4 plus 5 is 9. 2 plus 3 is 5. And bring down 0. Now remember, the total number of decimal places in the factors should be the same in the product. So let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Therefore, we are going to put the decimal point in the product 5 decimal places from the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There, and let's put 0. Now, this is our final answer. Let's try another one. 32 hundredths times 1 tenths. In multiplying decimals by 1 tenths or 1 hundredths, the first thing that we need to do is to copy the factor multiplied by one-tenths or one-hundredths, including the decimal point. There! And then the next step is 
the number of decimal places in one tenths or one hundred means the number of decimal places you move the point to the left. Since one tenth has one decimal place, therefore we are going to move the decimal point one place to the left. There! Let's add zero. Now this is our answer. Let's have another one. 32 hundreds times 1 hundredths. Let's copy first 32 hundredths. Since 1 hundredths has two decimal places, therefore, we need to move the decimal point two decimal places to the left. 1, 2. Let's put 0 to the empty decimal place. There you go. Now this is our answer. How about this one? Let's try 47 hundredths times 10. In multiplying decimals by 10 or 100, first thing that we need to do is to copy the factor multiplied by 100 or 10. Let's copy 47 hundredths. Now, the next step that we need to remember is the number of zeros in 10 or 100 means the number of decimal places you move the point to the right. Since 10 has one zero, we are going to move the decimal point one place to the right. One. There. Let's just remove zero. Now our answer is 4.7 or 4 and 7 tenths. Let's have another example. How about this one? 47 hundredths times 100. First, let us copy 47 hundredths. Since 100 has two zeros, we are going to move the decimal point two decimal places to the right. One, two. And then let us just simply remove zero and the decimal point. There. Now our answer is 47. Great job. Here are the things that you learned today.